All right, let's uh, start with practice test number two for the technician test. Another 35 questions. Let's get started. Here is question number one. And question number two. And question number three. And question number four. And question number five. Question number six. And question number seven. And question number eight. And question number nine. What is component four? And question number 10. And question number 11.
question number 12. And question number 13. And question number 14. And question number 15. Question number 16. And question number 17. And question number 18. And question 19. And question 20. And question 21. And twenty two.
and 23 24 and 25 And 26. And 27. And twenty eight. Twenty nine. All right, thirty. And thirty one, Thirty two.
and 33. And 34. And last question, 35. So, better, worse, <laughs> uh -oh. I got a thumbs down in the back there, uh oh. All right, let's, let's see. Question one is how might you obtain a list of active nodes that use VOIP? All of the choices are possible from a repeater directory, by subscribing to an online service, or from online repeater lists maintained by the local repeater coordinator. So all of those, one C. And two, what should be done to all external ground rods or earth connections? Bond them together with heavy wire or conductive strap. That's actually part of the National Electric Code also. Um, but bond them all together. Three, what is the gain of an antenna? Well, that's the increase in signal strength in a specified direction compared to a reference antenna. And that reference antenna could be an isotropic radiator, uh, a theoretical antenna. So 3B. And what reading on an SWR meter indicates a perfect impedance match? One to one. Normally written one colon one, but they spelled it out here, so 4A. What device converts the RF input and output of a transceiver to another band. Those are called transverters. Transmit converter, transverter. It'll do both transmit and receive. And six, the term APRS, we saw it in the earlier test, automatic packet reporting system. That's the one that is associated with a map and can also send some text messages. That's APRS. And what is the International Telecommunications Union? Based in Geneva, Switzerland, they're a United Nations agency for information and communication technology issues. And eight, which of the following bands may provide long distance communications during the peak of the sunspot cycle? The peak meaning with lots of sunspots, well then 10 meters will open up like gangbusters. So 10 meters and six meters, um, you can talk around the world on 10 watts or less. And component four in the figure, well, that's an antenna. So 9C. And 10, what is the name for a current that flows in only one direction? That's direct current. And 11, what component is commonly used to change 120 volts AC house current to a lower AC voltage for other uses? That's a transformer, an AC transformer. 
And 12, when is it permissible to transmit messages encoded to hide their meaning? There are two exceptions. Only when transmitting control commands to space stations or radio control model craft. And 13, which of the following is an acceptable method to determine that your station complies with FCC RF exposure regulations? Well, as Tom mentioned, all of these choices are correct by measurement using a field strength meter and calibrated antennas, by calculation based on computer modeling, or by calculation based on the FCC Office of Engineering Technology Bulletin 65. And 14, what electrical component is used to protect other circuit components from current overloads? That's a fuse. And 15, what should you do if something in a, neighbor, a neighbor's home is causing harmful interference to your amateur station? Well, all of these work with your neighbor to identify the device, politely inform, inform them about the rules that prohibit the use of devices, part 15 devices that cause interference, and check your station to make sure that it meets standards of good amateur practice, so all of those. And 16, how soon after passing the exam may you operate a transmitter? As soon as your operator station license grant appears in the database. The database rules. No longer do you get anything in the mail. And which of the following electronic components can amplify signals? We said in the previous test a transistor has gain it can amplify. So again, 17A, a transistor. And if a frequency display shows a reading of 2,425 megahertz, what frequency is that in gigahertz? You move over three decimal places and it becomes 2.425 gigahertz. And what is the electrical difference between RG58 and RG8 coax? Well, RG8, the bigger coax, has less loss at any given frequency versus RG58. And what term describes the use of a subaudible tone transmitted along with normal voice audio to open the squelch of a receiver? Well, that's known as PL tone, also known as CTCSS, Continuous Tone Coded Selective Squelch. And what is the Amateur Radio Emergency Service? Well, that consists of licensed amateurs who have voluntarily registered their qualifications and equipment uh, for use in public service. And what is the current in a circuit with an applied voltage? Okay, so now here we're doing Ohm's law, EIR, applied voltage of 120 volts and a resistance of 80. So we're trying to find the current. So we cover up the I and then you're left with E over R, or 120 volts divided by 80 ohms, 1.5 amps. And what is the ability to store energy in a magnetic field called? That's inductance. Inductors store energy in a magnetic field. And 24, what type of modulation is most commonly used for VHF packet radio transmissions? You can use the little baofangs or the little radios. That's FM. FM. And what is the function of an automatic gain control, or AGC? Well, that's to keep received audio relatively constant. So if a sudden strong signal comes in you know, your, your pass band, well, it doesn't make you go deaf. That's AGC. And what term is commonly used to describe the rapid fluttering sound, sometimes heard from mobile stations? Picket fencing. Up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. Picket fencing. And 27, how is a computer's sound card used when conducting digital communications? Well, the sound card provides audio to the radio's microphone input and converts the received audio from the speaker output to digital form the computer can use. 
And 28, which of the following is the purpose of the amateur radio service as stated in the FCC rules? Radio art. You are advancing skills in the technical and communication phases of the radio art. We are artistes. And 29, what is a good precaution to observe before climbing an antenna tower? Well, if you're climbing, put on a carefully inspected climbing harness, harness rated for your weight, and safety glasses. And 30, what type of amateur station simultaneously retransmits the signal of another station on a different channel or channels? That's a repeater. And 31, what brief statement indicates you are listening on a repeater? All you need to do is throw out your call sign. Whiskey 4, Echo, Echo, Yankee. And what property of a radio wave is used to describe its polarization? That's the orientation of the electric field. So if you have a horizontal dipole antenna, the electric field is also horizontally polarized. Vertical dipole, the electric field is then vertically polarized. The electric field. And with regard to satellite communications, what is Doppler shift? That's the observed change in signal frequency caused by relative motion between the satellite and the Earth station. And we heard that here, and you can also hear as the trains go by, you can hear their pitch change. As they come toward you, it's higher. As they go away from you, it's lower. It's the same thing as Doppler shift. And 34, which of the following precautions should be taken when measuring circuit resistance with an ohm meter? Well, ensure the circuit is not powered or you let the smoke out. And finally, who does the FCC presume to be the control operator of an amateur station? They assume it is the station licensee. Yes? No? So take practice tests at home as best you can. Review the material in the book. Um, don't fry your brain. Just go at a moderate pace. Uh, Saturday is coming. If you can make it, uh, great. Um, if you can't, there will be other test sessions, and we'll keep you informed. If you need to find out about a test session, just email me, and I'll, I'll let you know um, when the next one's coming up. It's been my great pleasure to be your instructor for the class. You've been a great class. Thanks very much. So go get them, all right? Thank all right. You. Take care.